Today I'm going to show you how to create a more exciting pie chart in Keynote, getting from this to this. Hi there, I'm Tian Tik with Sticky Spy. Welcome to this episode of Amazing Sticky Presentations, inspired by Sticky Spy, bringing you tips, ideas, and design for better presentations, turning your ideas into lasting impressions. Using the default charting function in Keynote is quick and easy, but it also produces charts that are not so exciting. What I usually like to do is to recreate the chart manually using a combination of shapes in Keynote, and then add exciting touches to the chart to make it interesting. You see, people attending presentation sessions are so used to seeing crappy slides, slides that include charts that are uninteresting, dull, and boring. So if you are going to show a chart in your presentation, you should make it unexpected and amazingly sticky. You should make it stand out from the other presentations. So let's get into it. This is the chart that was created using the charting function in Keynote. Not very exciting, yeah? Before I show you how to create something more exciting in Keynote, let me first explain what are the tools that I will be using in Keynote and how I'm going to put them together to create a better pie chart. So, what I'm going to do is to create the three segments of the pie, the 35% Japanese make, the 15% Korean make, and the 12% Chinese make, including the segment that represent other. To do that, I will draw a circle and cut out a segment of it and repeat that for all the segments. For the segment that represent other, I will draw a slightly smaller circle and send it to the back layer. Let's pretty much explain the creation process. Okay, let's begin. In a new slide, in Keynote, we first remove all the template elements so that we get a clean blank slide. We can do this by clicking on the Change Master button and select the blank master slide. Go to Shape and click on the circle. Then move the circle to align at the center of the slide. Next, enlarge the circle to fill up about almost the whole slide. Holding on the Shift key and the Option key at the same time will allow you to resize the circle from the center and also constrain the circle to a perfect circle. Let's change the color to gray. This will be the reference circle that we are going to use to create all the other pie segments. Next, insert a square shape and align the bottom left corner of the square to the center of the circle. Then, enlarge the square to cover the top right quadrant of the circle. Now, let's assign green color to the square and adjust the opacity, say about 50% so that we can see through the shape. Next, right click on the green shape and from the drop menu, select Make Editable. This will allow you to edit the selected shape. Now drag the bottom right corner point until the green shape covers about 35% of the circle. Remember, this is for the Japanese make segment of the pie chart, which is 35% total imported cards. Okay, we'll repeat the same process to prepare for the other two pie segments, which are 15% Korean make and 12% Chinese make. Done. Remember the reference circle that we talked about earlier? We need to make a copy of it before doing anything else. So let's copy. Now we will actually create the individual pie segments. To do that, we need to combine two shapes together and removing the excess area, keeping only the area where both shapes intersect. This is done by first selecting the two shapes to be combined and clicking on the Shape Intersect function in the Arrange tab. There you go, superb. We need to now paste back the reference circle 
to create the other two pie segments. Let's do that quickly. Wow, it's done. Let's select all the three segments now and reset the opacity back to 100%. For the segment that is other, we will reduce the size of the reference circle slightly and send it to the back. Next, I will enlarge the Pi segment of the Japanese and Chinese. Then reduce the segment for the Korean. Let's do some fine adjustment to make the overall pie looks better. We can use the arrow keys on the keyboard to nudge any of the selected segment. I want to make this pie chart really big. Let's group all the segments together and enlarge the whole pie chart to fill up almost the whole slide. Remember to hold on the shift key on your keyboard while you are enlarging the chart. That's good. Next, we'll need to add in the text and data labels for each of the pie segments. I'm going to click on the text button to insert a text box. The default size is very small and dark, so we need to change the text color to white and the font to Barlow and make it 120 points Wow, that's big! Okay, we add in the information now 35% Japanese Make 35 bold and the percentage symbol at 230 points and the Japanese text 110 points. That's good. Realize that the spacing in between the two lines is a little too much. We can make it closer by changing the line spacing value to say 0.9. Reposition the text box a little. For the other two pie segments, we will repeat the same by duplicating the text box and replacing the content as required. Hey, if you are still here watching this video, go on and give it a like below and remember also to subscribe to this channel for future videos. Next, the title for the chart. We can just duplicate the text box from the other segment and move it to the top of the slide. Change the text to imported cars by make and adjust the sizes. Let's go to the slideshow mode to see how it looks. We need to add an icon of a car. Go to shape and type in car in the search bar. Let's pick the first one. We can enlarge it and also rotate into position. Remember that we can use the arrow keys on the keyboard to accurately position any object. Let's view it in slideshow again. Wow, isn't that exciting? One of the techniques of making exciting charts is to ensure the key data is clear and easy to understand. Besides the need to convey the data, you also want to create a visual impact. You want people to say, wow, this looks great and I understand what you are trying to tell me. You want this type of positive reaction from your audience attending your presentation sessions. Of course, it will take a little more time to create something exciting like this. But at the end of the day, it's worth the time spent 
you get a better chart for your presentation. And I can assure you that your audience will love it. What you see here in this video is creating this exciting pie chart using Keynote software. If you are a PowerPoint user, check out my other video showing you how to create this same pie chart with PowerPoint software. In my next video, I will show you how to animate this pie chart to bring your presentation to the next level of stickiness. Stay tuned and remember to like and subscribe to my channel for more presentation tips, ideas and design to better your presentation. Also, I'd like to know what you think of this video. Leave me a comment below and I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.